Hi, I'm Kathy with Level Up RN. In this episode of Ask a Nurse, I'll be answering your questions about strep throat, such as what causes strep throat? What are the symptoms of strep throat? And how is strep throat diagnosed and treated? Strep throat is a contagious bacterial infection that causes a sore throat. The medical term for strep throat is streptococcal pharyngitis. And the bacteria that causes this infection is Streptococcus pyogenes, which is also referred to as group A Streptococcus. In addition to a sore throat, other symptoms of strep throat include fever, pain with swallowing, red and swollen tonsils, tiny red spots on the roof of the mouth called petechiae, and swollen lymph nodes in the neck. The bacteria that causes strep throat is transmitted through respiratory droplets, such as through coughing and sneezing, as well as close contact with an infected person. Strep throat is more common in children than adults, and specifically between the ages of 5 and 15. In addition, crowded settings, such as daycare, school, and correctional facilities, increase the risk of getting strep throat. Many of the symptoms of strep throat are the same as symptoms caused by viral infections. So in order for your provider to determine if your symptoms are caused by group A streptococcus bacteria, as opposed to a virus, then they will typically perform a rapid strep test. During this test, your provider will swab the back of your throat and test the secretions for the presence of group A streptococcus bacteria. The results are usually obtained in 10 to 20 minutes. If the rapid strep test is negative, but your healthcare provider still suspects that strep throat may be present, then a throat culture may be obtained. Getting the results of a throat culture does take several days, but in some cases, the culture can identify a strep throat infection that the rapid strep test misses. If the rapid strep test or throat culture is positive for group A streptococcus bacteria, then antibiotics will be ordered. Some common antibiotics used to treat a strep throat infection include amoxicillin, penicillin, and cephalexin if the patient has a penicillin allergy. The course of treatment is often 10 days, and it is super important to complete the full course of antibiotics. If the infection is not fully treated, this can lead to very serious complications, such as damage to the heart, kidneys, and joints. This is not a bacteria that you want to mess with. Eating soft foods and gargling with warm salt water can help with the sore throat. In addition, pain relievers such as Tylenol and ibuprofen can help reduce the fever and also address the sore throat pain. However, it's important to note that aspirin should never be given to children and teens as it increases the risk of a life-threatening illness called Ray syndrome. And then finally, it is generally recommended that individuals with a strep throat infection stay home from school or work until they no longer have a fever and have been taking antibiotics for at least 12 to 24 hours. Okay, that is it for this episode of Ask a Nurse. I hope it was helpful. If you have a health concern or question you'd like me to address in a future episode, then be sure to leave that in the comments. Stay informed and stay well.